if you ever want to know why when you search Rock Riders on Bricklink and you get this minifigure at first. Hello there YouTube, I'm back with another LEGO review and it's another set that nobody remembers. This is a set number 1100 Sky Pirates. It consists of a, a ship, a boat, something that's called a docking area and a shark. It consists of uh, two minifigures, I mean three if you count the shark. That sounds awfully familiar. Watch it, I'm back of you! Alright, starting with the minifigures. It consists of a pilot and this uh, other uh, other. If you ever want to know why when you search Rock Riders on Bricklink and you get this minifigure at first, it's only because it uses a Rock Riders torso. Why is it uh, spe specified? I don't know, I, I don't know. The other guy also actually uses a Rock Riders parts. You get a... Uh, like, like, like you get, so why the other one why the other one needs to be specified it's beyond me the mini figures are pretty cool though and uh, I, I, I like I really like the pilot's design it has that uh, old Lego charm without, without, without looking a bit too you know uh, I guess questionable more than the Lego kind of look is looking boring to me also I guess there's some there's a, a bit of a misprint on the pilot because of the, because of the line between the eyes the hair is pretty weird because because it's, because it's orange yet you can barely see it thanks to the skin like I don't think it's supposed to be an, it's an actual orange it's one of those old orange colors like like the old old orange and uh, like earth orange fabulous orange all of these which don't exist anymore besides bright light orange. Which definitely it's not this one because Bright Light Orange was introduced in 2006, I think. Then there's uh, the shark. Interestingly, it's white. The, this entire set comes with an exclusive white shark, and no one. And again, something that no one even talks about. Even the modern versions of of, of the same shark, which is just the same, except there are gills and. Angry eyes for some reason. Why a shark's not come with angry eyes? Why, why you hate sharks? And, but they never I think came in white compared to the uh, uh, previously reviewed Aqua Rider shark. It's actually pretty small. I mean, it's I mean for the minifigure comparison, it's uh, uh, I mean you can see. I don't know how to how to else describe it in, in any other way. I don't know why we bringing it up. This little thing. A vehicle that this uh, that this lady uh, comes in, at least judging by the box art, I don't know what's supposed to be. Um, well, yes, it's. Uh, 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 she's not gonna mention that later on. But she also come, comes with the uh, megaphone that she's supposed to be holding. I guess so, uh, uh, not the megaphone. It's supposed to be a communication thing. I, I don't know how to say it in English. But she's supposed to be like driving in, in it. I guess to uh, get the get to the. Uh, the pl plane pilot to do something with him. I don't know. It does give me oddly deja vu vibes to a later set. The detail is, is also pretty cool. There's like this this uh, part on the back, which I don't know what's supposed to be. Some kind of part for the engine or something to like grab for a police to grab onto. There's also a bit, a bit of bits of bits of orange as well. I wonder why it's supposed to, why it's supposed to be like that. Because apparently this set is actually supposed to be some. Airlines uh, briefing, safe SI Airlines and mask promotion. So probably that's why it was forgotten because it was because it was one of those uh, promotional sets. And for some reason, those people don't want to talk about. I mean, still Lego sets. Just because it's not Lego City, Lego Star Wars, doesn't mean you should not review it at all. The most interesting also is I have the first time for me to have a set that uses an older version of the uh, wet plate that. Uh, than the one that exists nowadays. Like you can see that it doesn't have any uh, slots for the stats, stats for it to go. As a, like um, you know, on the side, so that you can put it on the on the giant plate without having uh, some some problems with it. You know, I don't know. It's pretty weird. It's just weird, weird, weird for me. Sort of this weird gap uh, in front of the in front of the steering wheel. So weird. I don't know. Then there's this a poorly excuse of a docking area, like. I don't know what's supposed to be for this. There's this chain, which I guess it's supposed to be for a uh, for a uh, plane or for the boat to be docking to. I mean, why else would it be a chain chain near uh, at the port? And it's slightly very dam damaged at least for my copy. With this very curved that's completely cracked and damaged, completely like more damaged than I am. 
mentally and it's now broken all right also comes it comes to some uh, equipment i'm guessing a flashlight and a, and a harpoon i guess for the uh, capture the shark in case of it attacking it's cool that it has kind of weapon kind of uh, equipment for the store but it has a really bitch grip even more bitch than i am okay now now with the jokes let's get serious oh and now we have this airplane I mean, the first thing you can probably get, everyone, everyone's probably saying is, My god, it's so blocky. Yes, because what do you expect? It came out in 2001. It has also uh, some bits of orange as well, compar com compared to the uh, the boat. I guess because there's something they have uh, uh, related it some way. There's still some a bit of cool detail, like, like those uh, lights here. And as well as again those orange bits here, I guess there could be there should be like some kind of sticker to use copy. So maybe maybe there there was something in there. Uh, oh well, it still looks cool even without the stickers. There's also uh, two of those uh, planes in propellers here. I can spin. That's a cool trick. And there's also this uh, I mean this copy area which the only way you can uh, open is by re removing this. Oh. Well, I guess this, this this entire thing is supposed to be removable, or that's just by accident. By accident. There's no no much no much here. Another uh, one another one of those uh, handles, like not even a correct handle, just a ring handle for like something like like a car. But I guess because nothing else fit in because it's, it's because it's uh, old Lego, so of course everything is small and tiny, almost be like. And I mean, there's not much uh, of a seat. There's just something there. More on that later. There's also an interesting uh, some sort of uh, package storage. Like you can see here, it has some interesting build technique because. Oh, the old Lego's fracture connection is kicking in again. Okay, fine, it's gonna be in pieces, alright. It has a suitcase. It has a, a, it has a small a suitcase, which. Which I mean, it doesn't. It, it's a set itself, as shown, that it doesn't come, come with, with, uh, with, nothing, with anything. I haven't even checked. I guess, uh, seller, if you're watching this, thank you. I really like Chrome. All right, that's not even part of the set. And then again, a bit, a bit more, a bit more orange detail. So we that use this orange for both of these vehicles. It really reminds me of another set, especially because this set as well. Guess what? It also secretly has crystals. It's almost as if they should use this idea for a Lego World City Hoverboard Hideout set. I didn't even notice that when I was first, uh, first. Recording it. What a weird connection. And both these sets, nobody gives a shit about. Wow. Anyway, the gems are interesting. You have you have the classic red, green, but also neon green. Why? Well, actually, I wonder if it's like an actual real crystal or is it just some alien crystal. Either either way, that's pretty cool. The, the only time you see see again is in Mars mission. And after that, I'm pretty sure the neon trans neon colors nowadays are getting more and more retired. Trans neon orange is now gone. Rest in peace. And this and trans neon green is probably also gonna disappear one day. Replace it by trans bright green. We really wonder why that it has so many good colors like trans medium blue, trans medium orange. I swear to god, one day we're gonna have, have flat colors and flat silver colors, and that's about it. Alright, and now for the instructions. There is some detail that being this pretty cool background showing some kind of island. It's, it, like, it reminds me so much of Angel Island from uh, from Sonic the Hedgehog franchise for some reason. It's like the same thing, just not pixelated. You can even find those manuals online for some reason. Like you search it and only you can only find all break instructions. Not even Lego headed. Why? This entire p m m p m m manual only has 15 pages. But like why not scan, scan for this? Especially on the back of the box, uh, back of the manual. Which shows some alternate alternate builds as well. Why couldn't Lego scan it? Why? Because because it's a promotional set. I mean, I didn't know I didn't even know it was a promotional set until I looked it up on on, on the wiki. Also, there's a bit of and also there's a bit of advertisement on the on the modem to visit Lego visit Lego.com in good old classic style. I guess charming for people because everyone who's a Lego fan is a classic castle nostalgia fan. Jeez, committee is pretty dumb. No offense, Lego fan. So what do I think about the set? Well, I mean. I didn't even know it was an actual uh, another another smuggling set, you know, for like for like criminals to smuggle against each other when when it, which isn't it's just the old Lego style, which was uh, not to make a uh, bad guys, you know, 
evil red wearing black and having striped clothing and having robbing as a pun, as a pun in their name but I, I like the I like the I like the set, sets build I mean I'm not exactly a fan of those old Lego Lego sets on, unless it's like the early 2000s and extra parts but I'd say it's definitely said that they shouldn't be forgotten ex uh, forgotten I mean not exactly as much as the as the uh, smugglers hideout from from Lego Wars because I mean that one had some cool gimmicks exclusive minifigures and Overall idea being pretty, pretty creative for me. But this is as well. I mean, especially when again when you check out on Bricklink, and you see and you see this minifigure on the top. It is show me more than just being on the top on Bricklink. You yeah, you can you can barely even get that set because like only like a few people are selling it. I couldn't even get it brand new because it was so expensive though. But it's a cool set. Like we shouldn't be so forgotten. I don't know. I just probably I'm, I'm probably just kind of saying because that face is pretty attractive for me. <laughs> <laughs> so rating, I give it a set a uh, white shark out of ten. Also, one in one information, there probably won't be a new review next week. Maybe uh, next week on Monday, like not this Monday, but Monday next, because of my because of some school related stuff. But I might, I might, I might end up posting some animations and speed paints. But as another LEGO review, that's going to be ne the next next month. So, see ya later, alligator, and have a good uh, later.